Experiment number 16th A, semiconductor diode. So we have to draw current versus voltage characteristic curve of PN junction diode in forward bias and hence find cut in voltage. So this is the circuit diagram, battery, plug key, rheostat, arrow mark indicates upper end of the rheostat and milliammeter. D represents diode, we have taken semiconductor diode or it is also called as PN junction diode, V represents voltmeter. Now come to the connection, from battery positive we can take two wires, so one wire will go to lower end of the rheostat, another wire will go to milliammeter positive. At milliammeter negative let us take two wires, one wire will go to diode positive, another wire go to voltmeter positive. And from voltmeter negative one wire, diode negative another wire, these two wires together connected to upper end of the rheostat. Lower end of the another lower end of the rheostat is connected to plug key, plug key is connected to battery negative. So this is semiconductor diode, now it is connected in forward bias. So how to know positive and negative terminal of the diode, you can observe. The semiconductor diode is in black color. At one end of this diode there is a silver coat. So this silver coat, silver color represents negative terminal and another terminal represents positive. Silver is negative and black is positive. This is the semiconductor diode which is also called as PN junction diode. So let us start with battery positive. Battery positive we have taken two wires, one wire will go to lower end of the rheostat, another wire is connected to milliammeter positive. Then for milliammeter negative again there are two wires, so one wire will go to diode positive, so this is diode positive and it is connected and another wire from milliammeter negative is connected to voltmeter positive. Then diode negative terminal wire and voltmeter negative terminal these two are connected to upper end of the rheostat and another lower end of the rheostat is connected to plug key, plug key is connected to battery negative. So this is the semiconductor forward bias circuit connection. Now let us switch on the power button. Power is switched on, we have supplied DC power supply and voltage is 2 volt. So now let us close the plug key so that current starts to flow. Using rheostat, we have to change the value of voltage in the voltmeter. Observe the voltmeter. The range of the voltmeter is from 0 to 1. 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and so on up to 1. This is the range of the voltmeter. Now using rheostat we have to increase the voltage. Now this is milliammeter. So you can observe the scale of the milliammeter is from 0 to 100. So 0 to 20 there are 10 divisions. It means the value of one division is 2. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. One division is equal to 2 milliampere. Now let us set or let us increase voltage using rheostat. Now the voltage is 1 volt but still the needle is at 0. For 1 volt current is 0. Observe for 2 volt. For 2 volt again current is 0. Now I am setting voltage for 3 volt but still there is no value of current it is 0. Now increase the voltage for 4 volt again current is 0. Now observe carefully the voltage is 0 0.5 volt but still the current is 0. Now the voltage is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 volt. Now the needle of the milliammeter is exactly at the first division. First division, one division value is equal to 2. 
voltage is 0.6 current is 2 milli ampere now increase again the voltage for 7 0.7 volt but there is rapid increase in the current now the needle is exactly on the 20 22 24 so the current is 24 milliampere similarly again increase the voltage for 0 0.8 volt slowly increase the voltage so now the needle of the milliameter goes out of scale now we can take the last reading is only for 0 0.7 so observe the tabular column voltage V in volt. So we are gone increasing the voltage 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and so on. For that initially there was no current. Current is completely zero. But exactly at 0 0.6 volt there is a small increase in the current. For 0 0.7 volt there is rapid increase in the current. So now this is 24 milliampere. So you, when we observe all these readings. 0 0.7 is the cut-in voltage. Cut-in voltage is the particular voltage where current increases rapidly. 0 0.7 volt is the cut-in voltage. Now we can represent it graphically. Let us plot the graph of voltage versus current. Current is in terms of milliampere. So we have a plotted graph of voltage versus current. First observe the scale. Along x-axis, 1 unit equal to, we have taken 0 0.1 volt. Along y-axis, current 1 unit equal to 3 milli ampere. Now observe the graph here. So for 1 unit, we have taken 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so on. Along y-axis, 1 unit equal to 3 milli ampere, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. We know the readings. For 0 volt, there is 0 current. 0 0.1 volt there is no current here 0 0.1 is also 0 0 0.2 no current 0 0.3 there is no current it is 0 0 0.4 0 0.5 until 0 0.5 there is no current for 0 0.6 current increases that is for 0 0.6 volt the current is 2 milli ampere for 0 0.7 volt current increases rapidly now the value of current is 24 milli ampere voltage is 0 0.7 current is 24 milli ampere now this is the point so let us join all these points so we can get the curve so we can write the cut-in voltage now we can observe this is p represents cut-in voltage cut-in voltage is 0 0.7 volt for 0 0.7 volt this is the voltage where current increases rapidly so this is the voltage versus current graph observe the result cut in voltage of the given diode is 0 0.7 volt